Okay guys, I'm back. We got this guy out. We're gonna show you the disruptive discharge high frequency and uh, show you that we're already maxing this out at a quarter of the way to one megahertz. Uh, 100 watt input, so uh, 76 watts, I guess. Somewhere in that range, you can see that we're getting it's the same amount of power, it's just because we haven't increased the capacitance, right? So it's the same amount of energy, just the frequency of the energy is so much more. And we get potential out here too, right? I've got this just across there like that. Come back here. I think you can touch this too without getting hurt, but uh, not when it's DC. <laughs> but when it's in this state, I don't think it's going to hurt you. There's lots of power here. I've, you, if you look, look at my screwdriver. There's, it's, it just eats the metal right away. So uh, something's getting hot because it's quitting. But let's show you the frequency uh, while it quit now. So this is the transformer. This is not getting hot, but that is apparently running right there the way it is at 550 kilohertz, which is huge. So it must have gone into some sort of a high speed. Uh, okay, so that's running at 300 kilohertz, the transformer. No heat is produced on that at all. doesn't even get close to warm. That spark gap is so hot, I can smell it melting. I can actually see it. There's so much heat coming out of there. I'll have to figure out something better for those. You know, if I'm going to run them like this. But this is a little excessive, right? So, there you go. There's 218 kilohertz high frequency disruptive discharge. That has uh, literally, you know, eat, eating the copper, eating the metal. Uh... It's very, it's very uh, responsive, you could say. The whole thing vibrates, so the higher I go up on this coil, they're not center tapped right now, but there's still a potential because one side's north and the other side's south, and they're, they're uh, oscillating. And half of the wave is created from this. The other half is created from the ambient collapse. And that's what's making up the sine wave because we're putting pulse DC into this, right? Boom. And then Mother Nature pushes back. And that's what's observed on the coils. So if we slow this frequency down by turning this way down, where'd that screwdriver go? Oh, there it is. Hiding. Everything's hiding around here because... We can't go even too much faster than what I am because I'll just literally piss the whole damn world off. And they're already pissed off enough right now. So, we'll just, there, there's four watts or something. See that spark gap's kind of getting hot. I didn't think they would have got that hot, but I'm really pounding them pretty hard on the frequency. So... So you can see the discharge is happening here. Whoops. This one. And we can pretty minor at, at that low, low. But again, I, I, like I said, I, this is just thrown together. This is not a calculated device. But, but uh, <laughs> so now if I go ahead and rectify that and put it in those caps, like, I mean, it's going to charge the caps. I mean, it's doing no different than the rest of the units we're doing, right? banging them and I showed charging the cap at like a hundred times faster than pure um, fundamental resonance driven by a ZVS harmonically tuned even not just two random pieces of wire calculated tuned pieces of wire ran at the fundamental resonance for the resistance applied right into a cap this thing smokes it hands down 100 to 1 man no problem I mean just go review the videos there are in public domain. Ciao.